want to say great day to the viewing audience. Welcome to Walking in the Spirit, hosted by the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research, Omaha. My name is Stefan Williams, and I will be your host for today's program. We're going to continue on with our series entitled, Yahshua the Messiah, Instituted and Fulfilled the Old Testament. And I would like the viewing audience that are viewing this broadcast to get out your Bibles, your notebooks, your pens, your pencils, your highlighters, and study with us. Let's continue on. We're going to be focusing on this pictorial illustration right here to go along with the verb. I need, and also we're going to continue on with the governments upon his shoulders, kingdom, the institution of it. Now we're going to start off with one of the books of the prophet, the prophet Isaiah. I need read reader, please. Isaiah, the ninth chapter, verses 6 and 7 from the Holy Name Bible, please. Isaiah 9, 6 and 7 from the Holy Name Bible. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor of the Mighty El, of the Father of Eternity, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government, and peace there shall be no end until upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this. Thank you, reader. Now you said that his, some of his titles are is the wonderful counselor the mighty L of the Father of Eternity, the Prince of Peace. All right. Thank you, reader. I need read also, reader, Daniel from the prophet Daniel. Daniel, the second chapter, verses 44, please. Verse 44, please. Daniel 2 and 44, out of the Holy Name Bible. Mm -hmm. And in this and in the day of these kings shall be Eloah of heaven mm -hmm. set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to another per people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Thank you, Read Also, I need read, reader, please, Daniel, the seventh chapter, verse 13 and 14 verses from the Holy Name Bible. Daniel 7, 13 and 14 from the Holy Name Bible. Then was Daniel brought in before the kings, and the kings spake and said unto Daniel, Art thou that Daniel, which art the children of captivity of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of Julia? Mm -hmm. I have even heard of thee, that the spirit of Eloah is in thee, mm -hmm. and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee. Thank you, reader. Also, I need read, reader, please, Daniel, the seventh chapter, verses 26 and 27 verses from the Holy Name Bible. Daniel 7, 26 and 27 out of the Holy Name Bible. This is the interpretation of the things. Many, Eloah, has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Mm -hmm. To kill thy art weight in the balance of thy and are found wait, wait, wanting. Thank you, reader. I need also read, reader, please. Zechariah, the ninth chapter and verse nine, please, from the Holy Name Bible. Zechariah nine and nine from the Holy Name Bible. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation lowly and riding upon an ass, upon a cult, the fowl of she ass. Thank you, reader. So, Isaiah the prophet, Isaiah, 
and Dan Danielle. You can you can hear the Father Yahweh's name in Elijah. You can also hear his divine title of El Elohim in the in the the ending part of Danielle's name. Okay, prophesying of this one Yahshua Messiah to come in to the loins of the Virgin Mary to fulfill what he instituted as Yahushua or Yahshua, the son of Nun, okay? Instituting and fulfilling. He's done it all. Thank you, reader. Now, this is the, the fulfillment of the law and the prophets instituted government upon his shoulders, kingdom. I need rare reader, please. Luke, the first chapter, verses 30, 32 and 33 from the Holy Name Bible. Luke 1, 32 and 33 from the Holy Name Bible. Mm -hmm. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest of Yahweh, Eloah, shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Mm -hmm. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Thank you, reader. Also, I need read, reader, please. John, the 18th chapter, in the 36th verse from the Holy Name Bible. John, 18 and 36 from the Holy Name Bible. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Joshua answered, Thy says it, for I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness upon the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Thank you, reader. I need also read, reader, please. John, the first chapter in verse 49 from the Holy Name Bible. John 1 and 49 from the Holy Name Bible. Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, aren't thou the son of Elohim? Thy art the king of Israel. Ready? Yes. Thank you, reader. Also, I need read, reader, please, John, the 19th chapter, verses 14 through the 19th verse, please, from the Holy Name Bible. John 19, 14 through 19 from the Holy Name Bible. And it was the and it was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour, and he said unto the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar, then deliver, then deliver him, then deliver he him therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Joshua and led him away. And he bearing his cross went forth into a place called Goth Golgotha, Golgotha mm -hmm. where they crucified him and two others with him on either side one. Then, and Joshua in the midst. And Pilate wrote a note and put it on the cross. Mm -hmm. And the writing was, Yahshua of Nazareth. Not Jesus Christ, but Yahshua of Nazareth. Read. The king of the Jews. Or the king of the Yehudites, truly, or the Hebrews. No J, no Jew, no J, no Jesus, no, ne no J, no Jehovah. Okay? Read. Is that, are you done there? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, reader. I need also a rare reader, please. Now, this is the spiritual fulfillment. Okay? Now, I need you to just get right here and then come right back. Here we have here, you see where it says, the Israelites and Pharaoh in Egypt passed over feast. Blood of Paschal Lamb. This is a type and shadow. This is the institution. See, blood of Lamb of Yahweh. See, blood of Paschal Lamb here. You see the death here. You see the burial here. You see the two soldiers standing on, on either side of the tomb, right? Then you see the two, the two 
soldiers now they land down here okay now you see Yash Messiah uh, uh, resurrect the quickening spirit this physical body was consumed in a tomb resurrected a quickening spirit or back into a supercorporeal form okay thank you reader so now in this he's in this form forevermore okay so he tarried after his resurrection for 40 days and 40 nights, only seen in visions and understood in Bible revelation, then ascended up. All right, and 10 days later, on June 6, 9 a.m. in the morning, was the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which ushered in what we call let's say, the day of Pentecost, which, which ushered in the new covenant or the new testament, which is written in our hearts and minds now, with the spirit of the living Elohim. So this is the, this what we about to read now, ladies and gentlemen, is the spiritual fulfillment now. Okay, we had the physical fulfillment. Now we about to read about the spiritual fulfillment. I need red reader, please. Colossians, the first chapter in the 13th verse from the Holy Name Bible. Let me pay back right back here for a moment if you have it there. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read, please. Colossians 1 and 13 from the Holy Name Bible. Read on. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness mm -hmm. and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Thank you, reader. Now I need you to follow me. Follow me. Uh, uh, follow me for a second here. Now it says, the readers got the reading, it says that, I'll just point here, just come on back down. This is him in his glorified state as of today. Okay? And it says that he, Yash Messiah, the risen Yash Messiah, okay? And going to point, come on back down here, we see, see that the darkness all down here. Darkness means, darkness is ignorance, death. Okay, he said he said he had he had delivered it from the power of darkness. Okay, and we can say right here we because we was under the dictates of the father of lies, his death here on the head, which is also called Satan, Lucifer, or the devil. Okay, son of perdition, he had delivered us from the power of darkness. See, he's the follow, and has translated us. He says, kingdom of Yahshua, on the follow, has translated us into the kingdom. He's the king of the kingdom. He's the head of the body. He's the head of the church, which is truly the true assembly or true congregation, not a physical building, but it's his body, okay? And he's the head. He's the king and we are in the kingdom as of today. Thank you, reader. You can pan back right back here, please. I need read, reader, please. Hebrews, the first chapter and verse eight from the Holy Name Bible. Hebrews one and eight from the Holy Name Bible. But until, but until a son, but until the son, he said, Thy throne, O Elohim, mm -hmm. is for ever and ever. A sceptre of righteousness is the sceptre of thy kingdom. Thank you, reader. Now you can just pan it right back up here. Like I say, this is spirit fulfillment now. Pan it right back up here. See, and just keep it right there. I'm going to just, just repeat what the reader just read. He was the first chapter, verse 8. But unto the Son, he said, Thy throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever a sceptre of righteousness, is the sceptre of thy kingdom. Also read, reader, reader, please, Revelation 11, chapter, verse 15 from the Holy Name Bible. You go right there, please. Thank you. Uh, Revelation 11, Verse 15 from the Holy Name Bible. And the seventh angel sound, and there was a great voice in heaven, saying, The kingdom of this world are become 
the kingdoms of our Eloah All right. and, of the, and of his Messiah, and he shall reign forever and ever. Thank you, Rita. And you can just get right here. Just pan here for as good as you can. It says the seventh angel, just read, it says right here, Sabbath, once again, spiritual fulfillment of Sabbath, rest, it says seven, it says sealed, open. Okay? Thank you, reader. We're going to be reading now the year of Jubilee, the institution of it from the law. I need read reader, please. Leviticus, the 25th chapter, verse 8 and 9 from the Holy Name Bible. Leviticus 25, 8 and 9 out of the Holy Name Bible. And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of the year unto thee, seven times seven years. And the place of the seventh Sabbath of the year shall be unto thee forty and nine years. Uh -huh. Then shall thy cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month in the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all the land. Thank you, reader. I need also read reader, please. And you can, uh, let me see here. Can you get here? Get it? Don't worry about it. You can't get it. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Just frame it. I need red reader, please. Genesis, the fifth chapter, verse twenty-second verse to the twenty-fourth verse from the Holy Name Bible. It says, "Birth translation of Enoch." Read, please. Genesis five, twenty-three through twenty-four, out of the Holy Name Bible. And Enoch walked with Elohim after he begot Methuselah, 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 Methuselah 300 years and begot sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. Mm -hmm. And Enoch walked with Elohim, mm -hmm. and he was not for he took him, for Elohim took him. Thank you, reader. Let me just get right here again. Now we're going to be reading a chapter and verse from the book of the prophets, Ezekiel, the 46th chapter and verse 17 from the Holy Name Bible. Ezekiel 46 and 17 out of the Holy Name Bible. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. But if he give a gift of his inheritance to one of his servants, then it shall be his to the year of liberty. After it shall return to this prince, but this inheritance shall be his sons for, for them. Thank you, reader. And he also, now we're going to read the fulfillment of that in the fulfillment book. Luke, the fourth chapter, verse 14 through the 21st verse from the Holy Name Bible. Right here. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Luke, Luke 4, 14 through 21 of the Holy Name Bible. And Yahshua returned in the power of the Spirit in Galilee, mm-hmm. and there went out a fam of him through all the region around about. And he taught in the synagogues, being praised by all. Mm -hmm. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered, and there was delivered unto him a book of the prophet Isaiah. Mm-hmm. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of Yahweh is upon me mm-hmm. because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel mm-hmm. to the poor. Mm-hmm. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captivity. Now hold it right there. Now it said the gospel. We're not talking the gospel. It's not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The gospel, the true gospel, is the is death, death of Yahshua Messiah, the burial of Yahshua Messiah, the resurrection of Yahshua Messiah, the tearing, the ascension, the outpouring. That's the gospel. That's the true good news, not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can also pick that up in 1 Corinthians, the 1 Corinthians 15 chapter verses 1 through 4. It will tell you what the true gospel is. Thank you, reader. I'm not finished. Go ahead and read, please. Um, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, Mm -hmm. to proclaim liberty to the captivity and the opening of the prison to them that are bound and to proclaim Yahweh's year or release. Mm -hmm. Then he closed the book and gave it again to the ministers and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears this day is the scriptures the law of prophets or the volume of the book of the old testament is fulfilled this day in your ears Thank you, reader. Now we're going to read a, the spiritual fulfillment of the year of the Jubilee. I need read reader, please. Romans the eighth chapter, verses two and four from the Holy Name Bible. Romans eight, two and four from the Holy Name Bible. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahshua the Messiah hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. That the righteous of the law might be fulfilled in us whom walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. But walk not after after the flesh or call the ordinances, Mm -hmm. physical sacrifices, okay, water baptism, okay, trying to keep the Ten Commandment laws, trying to keep Passover feasts, a wrong thing called Lord's Supper, and trying to keep the Sabbath days, okay? Read that, read that again, please, reader. Yes, sir. Romans, that, read it again, please, Romans. Romans 8, 2, and 4 from the Holy Name Bible. Read. For the law of the spirit of life in Yahshua the Messiah hath made me free from the law of sin and death, that the righteous of the law might be fulfilled in us whom walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. All right. So you know what you know what the definite or the letters L S B means, okay? Yes. Lucifer, Satan, and the devil, all right? On this side of the cross, uh, 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 worshiping or acknowledging this on the side of the cross by doing this. We know who we know who's behind it now on this side of the cross, okay? But we have been delivered from that. All right. Thank you, reader. Now we're going to be reading about the translation instituted in the law. Um, We're going to get a prophet. I need red reader, please. Second Kings. Uh, Daniel. Excuse me. Excuse me for that. 
Let's go on back up to uh, the year of Jubilee. Excuse me. The year, the year of Jubilee. The spiritual fulfillment. I need read Daniel 9, chapter, verse 24 from the Holy Name Bible. Daniel 9 and 24 from the Holy Name Bible. Read. Seventy weeks of the year are deep determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city mm -hmm. to restrain transgression and to make an end of sin offering mm -hmm. and to make an atonement of in for iniquity mm -hmm. and to bring in everlasting righteousness mm -hmm. and to complete the prophet vision and to anoint the holy place. Thank you, reader. Like I said, I apologize for that viewing audience but we're not perfect. And that will conclude another week's program. Until we meet again next week, I'd like to leave with these few words. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.